Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have 1 to the power of m equals to minus 4 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here first we take a natural log on both of the sides of this equation so that when we take a log it is written as log of 1 to the power of m equals to log of minus 4. And now after that here we use the nice property of log in the left hand side. And here we move this uh, m to the front of this log and it is written as m times of log 1 is equals to log of minus 4. And further we move this log 1 to the right hand side and this equation is implies that m equals to log of minus 4 it is divided by log of 1. So here we know that the value of this log 1 is equals to 0 but in the numerator we have uh, some uh, any number so we know that uh, something uh, divided by 0 is equals to infinity or in other words we say that this equation uh, cannot gives us the real root okay so this equation has uh, uh, no real roots okay so if uh, this equation has no real roots it, it means that this equation has complex roots so now we uh, need some working to find those complex roots okay so uh, in order to find uh, the complex root here we need uh, the nice Euler's identity and we know about the Euler's identity it is stated as e to the power of iota theta is equals to cos of theta plus iota sine of theta and now uh, first we check is this uh, uh, Euler's identity is hold for the values uh, of uh, theta equals to 0. So that when you take a uh, theta equals to 0 it is implies that e to the power of iota into 0 equals to cos of 0 plus iota sine of 0. So here we know that the value of cos 0 is 1 and the value of sine 0 is 0. It means that the value of e to the power of iota into 0 equals to 1. So now in the next step if we just take this theta uh, is any general value uh, uh, like uh, if you just take here our theta is equals to 2k pi and into iota and this is equals to cos of 2k pi plus iota sine of 2k pi so here we uh, just check that uh, is uh, this Euler's identity is hold for the values of k equals to 1 2 3 and up to so on so that here we uh, we just check first uh, for these values of k is this is hold or not and what is the output of uh, this Euler's identity okay so that here first we take k equals to 1 it means that when you take k equals to 1 we just substitute it here it is written as e to the power of 2 pi iota is equals to cos of when you put k equals to 1 here it is cos of 2 pi plus iota sine of 2 pi okay so here we uh, we just know that the value of cos 2 pi is equals to minus 1 plus the value of sine 2 pi is equals to 0. So here you remember one thing is that uh, about uh, the values of cos 2 pi and sine 2 pi. We know that uh, if you have some even multiple of uh, uh, this cos of theta. This, this E stands for even multiple of theta. So if we have even multiple of theta, uh, the, it is gives us the plus one. So this is our positive one. And similarly, if you have even multiple of uh, uh, sine, then you get its output is zero. Similarly, if you have cos of odd multiple of theta, it is uh, equals to uh, z. It is equals to minus one. And if you have sine multi sine odd multiple of theta, so it is equals to zero. So here you remember uh, about this fact, and we use this fact, and we just directly get these values. So that from above equation, you see here if we substitute our k equals to one, then we get the value of e to the power of uh, two pi iota is equals to one. 
and now similarly we will just check it our k equals to 2 so when you take k equals to 2 so that our Euler's identity is written as e to the power of 4 pi iota is equals to cos of 4 pi plus iota sine of 4 pi okay and now in the next step you uh, here we use this nice fact about the even and odd multiples of uh, the angles or in cos and sine and here you see that the value of e to the power of 4 pi iota is equals to 1 because cos 4 pi is equals to 1 and sine 4 pi equals to 0 so th uh, this implies that e to the power of 4 pi iota is equals to 1 and now similarly uh, if you just take here k equals to 3 uh, then uh, it means that you have e to the power of uh, 6 pi iota equals to cos of uh, 6 pi plus iota sine of uh, 6 pi and now again we use uh, the important fact and you know that uh, cos even multiple of pi equals to plus 1 and sine even multiple of pi equals to 0 so this implies that uh, e to the power of 6 pi iota is equals to 1 so uh, this working uh, is shows that uh, this uh, over uh, this is the general uh, Euler's identity and the output of the general Euler's identity for these values of k is equals to 1 so that here we conclude from these values of k is that the value of e to the power of 2k pi iota is equals to 1. So, uh, if this value is equals to 1, uh, and now the time to take the mth root uh, or mth power on both of the sides. So, here we take mth power and it is written as e to the power of 2k pi iota and its whole power m equals to 1 to the power of m. And now here you see that. Uh, we have the value of 1 to the power of m is equals to this is minus 4 and we just use this value here and uh, we just first put 1 to the power of m equals to minus 4 and after that we just take the uh, natural log on both of the sides but here first you see that these are the exponent to the exponent so these are multiplied by each other so here we write log of e to the power of 2 m k pi iota is equals to log of minus 4 and now we use the nice property of log and we move this exponent in the front of this log and it is written as 2 m k pi iota into log of e is equals to log of minus 4 and here we know that the value of this log e is equals to 1 so this term is equals to 1 and we have this is 2 m k pi iota and we find the value of m so we move all the other values to the right hand side and we have log of minus 4 divided by 2 k pi iota and here we know that the value of our k is equals to 1 2 3 and up to so on so this is the final value of final complex values of m and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos